My name is Sarah. I have Crohn's disease and I also have a J pouch. I was diagnosed with IBD when I was 14 years old, but I have been going in and out of the hospital ever since the age of 10 months old. When I found out that I had IBD, I was so scared knowing that I had a disease. I feared for my life and I cried and I felt so alone and I really honestly just hid it from everybody because I was really ashamed of all the symptoms that I was going through and I was forced to grow up a lot faster than I should have. One of the biggest challenges for me is just what goes into living my daily life. It's constant thinking. Whereas normal people don't think about the things that we have to think about, but my mind is running 24-7 and it's honestly exhausting to think about what I'm going to eat during the day or if my J pouch is going to act up or if I can go to work or hold a job or am I going to be in the hospital a few months from now or next week or next year or how my medications affect me. I'm, it's, Living in constant fear sometimes and my mind just never shuts off. It's just thinking all the time. Am I going to have to use the bathroom a lot? Am I going to have an accident? Am I going to be in pain? I have arthritis because of my Crohn's disease. How that's going to affect me. So it's really just the constant thinking that goes into this and the anxiety that comes along with it. Up until recently, I was very closed off to the world about my disease. I tried hiding it from everybody that I knew because I was so embarrassed of it and I was really ashamed. I, it made me feel ugly, honestly, as a person. I felt like my insides were ugly. I felt like it made me ugly on the outside because of things like surgery scars or the not so nice things that happened to us during our sickest times. So I didn't want anybody to know what I was going through. In college, when everybody else is having fun, I would stay home and isolate myself and not do anything because I was either so sick or just afraid that something was gonna go wrong. So I really just lived alone and in fear and ashamed and embarrassed up until just recently in the last few years. What changed things for me was a few summers ago, I went to Camp Oasis and that was the first thing that I did where I met people my age who had Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis and had been through the, th the things that I went through and I laughed with them and I cried with them and it was the first time ever that I felt like somebody got it. And my voice started off small and meek, but once I started talking, it was so freeing for me. And I realized that all those years that I lived alone, I really should not have been doing that. And my whole life changed from there. And then I keep going to events like Camp Oasis, Get Your Guts in Gear, the Intense Intestines Foundations, Climb for Crohn's and Colitis, all those events that bring patients together is what changed it for me. And now I have a voice and I started my own blog and I'm able to finally let go of everything that I held inside is now like exposed and I feel so much better. The words never stay quiet to me honestly mean everything because <laughs> that is something that I have now been living by. It's kind of my philosophy too is to never stay quiet, to not hold it in. The more that we share our stories, the better it feels honestly for us as patients because it lifts that burden off of your shoulders and we're all carrying it together. But it also helps our whole community um, to raise awareness, to get people who don't have IBD to understand what we go through so that we're getting people donating to our cause and more money towards medication and support and the things that we need. It's so important to not stay quiet because you don't have to live with this alone. We have a huge community and we can all do this together. Nobody should go through it alone.